Hello, welcome to today's meditation. Uh, this is Roberto Yativa. I am the president of Dolphin Star Temple Mystery School. And today we're going to continue our weekly practice together. We're going to set some time together to just wait for a few more people to join, maybe five minutes, and then we will begin with the practice. In the meantime, I would like to know um, if uh, somebody can confirm if you can hear me uh, clearly <clears throat> or oh, if there's any technical things that we need to take care of right now. Okay, perfect. Thank you for confirming. I'm going to start saying hi. There are a few people joining. Sean Shocker, hello. Charity, my good friend. Hi. Thomas Klein, thank you for joining. Oh, my dear friend Sila, welcome. Aspasia, welcome. Claudi also is joining us. Thank you. Hi, Cherie. Thank you for joining us. So while we are waiting for more people to join, please make sure that you have everything you need for the practice. Maybe a little candle in your space, some incense, um, comfortable pillows so your bag is straight and comfortable. If you need to still go to the washroom, do that now. So you will be ready for the practice and there will not be any kind of distraction through the process. Just a few more minutes, maybe a couple of minutes, and we will begin for those that were very on time. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I know for some people, sometimes taking care of uh, babies or other responsibilities, it might be a little bit uh, more difficult to start on time, but we are making sure that all of them can also enjoy from the beginning. Hi, Gary and Ula. Welcome. Oh, hello, Thomas from Berlin. Welcome. Welcome, Sean Shocker. Oh, thank you. Uh, more people joining from New Zealand. I know it's very early Saturday morning over there. Thank you for making the effort. All right, so we're going to start uh, today's um, conversation with a little bit of a reflection of the things that are happening. But before everything, I just want to introduce myself. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Roberto Yatiba. I am the president of Dolphin Star Temple, and I am an energy healer 
with uh, many years of experience uh, in different modalities, but mostly dedicated to play and live work. And definitely since I experienced this technique, I truly believe that my life changed and I was inspired to journey more deeply into the different techniques and processes and uh, it's what is being my main focus since 2013 and it is uh, allowing me to assist and support many people around the world doing what I love, doing what I feel uh, it is my passion and my uh, unique talent and ability. So um, today I wanted to uh, say that I've been noticing in the world through different interactions with many people plus my own uh, realizations here in Ecuador that things are improving regarding the coronavirus situation and I think that uh, in some way humanity is learning how to navigate through these different situations uh, we're finding ways to feel more safe, finding ways to uh, get things done and initially it was a little bit of a struggle for many people. Now I see them feeling more confident, more grounded, more sure and also more hopeful. In some countries already um, the situation is shifting. They are opening parks, opening beaches and that is allowing more freedom to people. So definitely uh, as a collective I feel a big difference. The first weeks when this was happening I noticed uh, a lot of fear, a lot of uh, terror, survival energies, and it was hard to be able to um, be connected with everybody. But in the following weeks, things were shifting, and now I feel it's a beautiful energy of hope and inspiration. People are trying to go back into their lives. With the legacy of this experience, I think it's been an amazing experience for our souls to be able to realize about important lessons. For example, some of the lessons that I have realized for myself and some of my clients have been discussing together is that now we will appreciate more our own body, our own well-being. We will not take for granted our health anymore. We will be more cautious of the foods and the amount of rest and the care that we have for our body because now that we experienced that we can get sick or maybe we lost somebody who got sick then we will start appreciating more of this and not take it for granted the same our people around us our families our kids our partners everybody we are missing them we are really appreciating them and sometimes we just let the time go and we don't heal we don't fix things that are between us and it can really be a problem for our energy and holding into all patterns of pride, holding into patterns of resentment, anger, judgment. So I think that in many ways through these experiences, uh, we are shifting, we are growing, we are evolving, and there is a great opportunity to see all the beauty that is coming out of this experience for all of us. So I invite you to keep digging in your own meditations, in your own time alone. What else? this experience is bringing for you, is giving you for the rest of your life and try to cherish that, that for, for the rest of your life because it's the best investment. Now, one of the qualities that I learned in this school with Amora many years ago that I think it can be helpful for many people who are still in a place of a struggle, it's the quality of total trust and total surrender. And I will explain briefly a little bit of each of them. When we are growing and uh, exposed to so many ideas from family, school, religion and society, we are told in a very subtle way that we need to learn to always play safe and to always make choices that will guarantee results and there will not be risk involved. So we are basically operating by fear. And it's important to know that when we have that uh, as part of our consciousness, definitely we will be sabotaging opportunities to go into a higher um, potential. And the same happens with uh, the lack of trust in the unknown. We have to remember that we are 
uh, divine beings. Within us, there is a little piece of God, goddess uh, of all that is, and in everything around us. So nothing happens just because. There is always a main objective, even if we don't know it, even if we don't understand it. But we need to really know that and to trust it. And in that vibration that is softer, okay, I do what I can, I'm going to take care of myself, my family, my space, I'm going to uh, get more empowered by getting more information, more knowledge of things that I can do. But beyond that, I cannot do anything else. I cannot control situations, people or events. I can only just get into a place of trusting and expecting the best scenario. And that is a beautiful quality that I want to invite all of us to reflect and to try to incorporate within us. Because the more that we focus on this approach, we will stop struggling. We will not be anymore in control and fear and tension and contraction, creating so many toxic chemicals in our bodies. And because we're in a more softer vibration, we will be able to start attracting into our reality the things that we want for ourselves. It is amazing how it works. I remember when I used to be in corporate world many years ago, I was into the programming of having a fixed income and needing that sense of safety to feel good. When I decided to quit everything and to jump into something completely unknown, non-traditional, like the work that I do, I was really mixed with different emotions. And I remember that Amora used to tell me, just follow your heart and trust and know that it's going to be okay. And I started expecting that. So in my meditations, I was uh, doing that work. And slowly I was able to notice that things were working out. I never know where my work is coming from, my income is coming from. I just know that if I show up, with the best integrity, with the best quality that I can offer, with my heart, that somehow the universe will manifest for me. And I've been applying that in this situation of the coronavirus because I know that I can do certain things to a certain degree, but beyond that, I cannot control. So then I've been applying that sense of trusting. I will do what I can and then surrender. Surrender to what needs to happen to divine will. So. That is kind of a little message that I wanted to share with you guys today. I think that the conditions are, as a collective are much better. And uh, if we incorporate this approach, it will just take us into a much better place. So having this uh, short conversation, I would like now to start the practice. Um, the meditation that we're going to do today is a combination of different processes that are available in the Pleiadian Workbook from Amora Kuan Yin. It is called the Pleiadian Workbook, Awakening Your Divine Ka. This book is available in our website, Dolphin Star Temple. And I will send you the link at the end so you can take a look. But it's a beautiful book because you can find a lot of healing in this book, a lot of techniques, a lot of processes, a lot of uh, tools that will help you to feel lighter, feel more connected, to be in a place of more grounding, more empowered. So I think that we all need that right now and always in general. So um, I will be guiding you a combination of these processes as a meditation and I am sure that it will be helpful because I have experienced myself the benefits of this practice for many years. So. Please uh, get comfortable. I would recommend you to be sitting with the spine straight and having maybe a little pillow in your back so that you can be more relaxed, more comfortable, making sure there is not going to be distractions, any cell phone, any phones, so you are very connected with your own inner world. <clears throat> and in this process, I would like to ask you also to breathe deeply through the nose most of the time, unless I tell you to breathe in through the mouth, and also to touch with the tip of the tongue the top of the mouth. In that way, you're going to activate some energy channels there. So close your eyes. We're going to start 
uh, saying a quick invocation to set a space to make sure that the conditions that will uh, be created around us will be ideal for this practice and there will not be any interference. In the name of the I am presence that is every person in this meditation group, we call forth the crystalline pillars of light from the cities of light where the ascended masters dwell. And we ask that they fill and surround our spaces, anchoring them as a sacred dolphin star temple in the cities of light, where only that which is divine and truth may enter. And all that is less than the divine must live now. We also invoke the presence of the dolphin star temple higher council of light, the Pleiadian, Syrian and Andromedan emissaries of light. Also the presence of Archangel Michael and Saint Germain, all the nature spirits of light from the earth chakras and all the sacred sites, and our beloved Holy Mother and Holy Father of all that is. Please assist us in this meditation as is needed. Okay, so now let's focus in deep breaths, comfortable breaths through the nose using every exhalation to relax the body, to relax our emotions and our mind. If you find that your mind is wandering, just give the instruction to come back to the here and now and continue with the work. The first part of this meditation will be to help us to relax the body, to be more connected and lighter, and then we will start doing other processes. So I want you to imagine above your body, maybe three feet or more above your head, an imaginary large white rose. The size of the rose is bigger than a human head. This rose will be a, some sort of container of energy. So all the things that you will release in this meditation that are denser in vibration will not stay in your place and therefore they will not come back to you after or to anybody else. They will be taken care of. So I want you to start having in place deep breaths, having in place your rows above you, away from your aura field. And let's begin using five deep breaths in your own rhythm with intention to release tension from the physical body. Not just tension, but also any physical discomfort. Maybe you have some pain, inflammation. If you are good, just everywhere relaxing your body and you're going to be able to see in every exhalation how the tension or the discomfort is released through the pores of your skin. So let's begin now the five breaths with that intention, sending everything that is coming out of the body into the rows above us. Deep breaths. <clears throat> 